Hey there! Hi you! Watching on the internet. Welcome to the Big Rewind where we watch everything on the internet so that you don't have to just get you caught up on all things pop culture, movies, trailers, and just dumb internet videos. Before we get started completely, don't forget to hit subscribe, hit the like button preemptively because it's going to be an awesome video. With that said, my name is Eric Zachary and on today's Big Rewind, Netflix takes on binging. Harry Potter takes on the Catholic Church and Cardi B takes on 10 year old boys. I, that's not as creepy as it sounds. Or is it? Lots of trailer watching to do today. Uh, were you guys a between, between Two Ferns fans? Yes? Oh, yeah. 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 Zach Galifianakis, man. I, just, I said that right, yeah? Zal Ga Galifianakis. Is it ne Nickus? Nackus. And I thought it was bad having like two first names and like growing up where kids kept calling me Zachary. Imagine trying to spell that to your teacher in class. Anyway, point is Netflix just announced a Between Two Ferns movie. Another edition of Between Two Ferns and my guest today is Matthew McConaughey. McConaughey. <laughs> of all the things you can win an Oscar for, how surprised are you that you won one for acting? Here we go. I noticed that you're wearing a shirt. Is everything okay? <laughs> Uh, the best part, too, there are so many celebrities in this all-star lineup of a movie, too. Will Ferrell, who, of course, is behind Funny or Die. I'm going to pretend I knew that. I just found that out like five minutes ago. Um, you got Peter Dinklage. You have Brie Larson. My guest today is Benedict Cumberbatch. Bud. Benedict Cam Benefit Lumberjacks. J uh, ben Benedict Cumberbatch. That's what it is. <laughs> yes, all of the yes. The best part, too, is Netflix isn't going to make us wait. They just put up the trailer, what was this, yesterday, technically, and the movie comes out on the 20th of September, the ninth month of the year. Also, Virgo season. It's my birthday. It's my birthday in a week. Anyway, uh, obviously, the Internet's very happy. I share that positive response with pretty much everyone on Twitter. Bill Murray gifts. You've got... Zach Galifianakis gives. You have Funny or Die commenting all over the place. Yes, we're ready for this. Uh, just do yourself a favor, watch the entire trailer because it is that good. You can do that by clicking the link below, by the way. All the stories that we're about to get into today, uh, we always have listed in the description below. So speaking of Netflix, uh, now not quite as positive of a response. They just announced that they're going to be dropping episodes weekly instead of all at once. What this means is that you might not be able to binge everything in one unhealthy 13-hour fast food fueled session. Anyway, moving on, uh, in the theme of today's entertainment and trailers, Bad Boys for Life. This came out hours ago. The, it's not a remake, I guess it's technically an addition to the series, but 25 years later, Will Smith and Martin Lawrence are back. One last time, one last time. <laughs> Wait, did they have a trailer for the trailer? No, that's like the new, yeah, they do. Is that the new thing? Yeah, all these companies. Is that their version of like the, hey, welcome to the Big Rewind, make sure you subscribe and check. It's there, it's okay. Hey! Oh, shit. Oh, come on, man. You can get that buffed out. No, you can get that buffed out. I'll let you watch the whole thing, but just that's all you needed to see to see and notice what the internet is reacting to the most. And that's Martin Lawrence looking like Big Mama, according to this Twitter <laughs> user. I'm not going to knock the guy. They still look great. Comedic timing is there. Will Smith looks exactly the same age as he was in Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. But it looks incredible. We cannot wait. Uh, this person, Jimmy's Burner, saying, now we just need a Jackie Chan and Chris Tucker uh, reunion back for Rush Hour 4. I thought there was a Rush Hour 4. Was it just three? Did it end on three? That's when they went to Paris, right? Do you understand the words that are coming out of my mouth, man? No one understands the words that are coming out of your mouth. One of my favorite series. That and, like, Ocean's 11, Ocean's 12, Ocean's 13. Um, who's the most iconic duo on screen for movies. I would say Chris Tucker, Jackie Chan are up there. Martin, no, who? Wow, you were offended with that. Who? I would say Brad Pitt and George Clooney. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. Uh, 
you understand my point now, right? This is what I have to deal with here at the Big Rewind. Uh, the series that never seemed to fully die. We thought he was putting it to bed after the seventh book, and then the seventh movie, and then the extra seventh movie, because it was a two-part movie, and then now all the theme parks, and then back to the Fantastic Beasts world, and now the books, I guess, are getting banned from a Tennessee Catholic school. I just want to read this verbatim. The pastor of the St. Edward's Catholic School in Nashville banned the books after reportedly consulting with exorcists who were concerned that students reading these books were at risk for conjuring evil spirits. In the words of Jessica on Twitter, yeah, I hate it when I'm reading Harry Potter and then all of a sudden my coffee cup turns into a mouse. Exactly. Um, apparently, the school's claiming that they're real spells and that they could actually conjure evil by reading words like Wingardium Leviosa. It's Leviosa, not Leviosa. Levios, Leviosa. No, Levi. Not Leviosa. Not Leviosa. Yeah, that. Now over across the pond, the UK kind of being really cool about things very quickly, uh, doing kind of the opposite, not with Harry Potter, but deciding to embrace the video game culture that youths have been about. Wow, I sounded so old. That youths, that night fort thing. Uh, <laughs> uh, but seriously, schools in the UK are embracing and partnering with Nintendo, making switches part of the learning process. And I think there's a couple different ways that they're going to actually implement them in the schools. Part of it is coding. Part of it is you know learning. There was, I mean, we had computer games when we were in school. We had the Oregon Trail. Yeah, exactly die of dysentery or getting mauled by a bear. This is just the new version of that with Mario and Luigi. But very cool and good to see schools that actually get it, you know, rather than trying to suppress the idea of technology, let's embrace it and continue to learn. Not that I'm bitter that my school chill still tried to make me memorize facts about history that no one needed to know. I've never used the Pythagorean theorem once in my life since I graduated. Never learned how to do my taxes. Cool. I mean, I know now. IRS, if you're watching this, I, I swear I'm good, I think. I should call my accountant. Moving on. Congratulations goes to Lizzo, who just took the, or continues the number one spot on the Billboard Hot 100 with Truth Hurts. I just took a DNA test, turns out I'm 100% that bitch. Even when I'm crying crazy, yeah, I got boy problems, that's the human in me. Now, the crazy part about this there's a couple things at play. Um, number one being that the song came out two years ago. It's pretty crazy. And although not completely uh, impossible, it is uncommon for a song to be out that long and then take the charts by storm. Congratulations to Lizzo, born Melissa Vivian Jefferson. I can see why she goes by Lizzo. Uh, Cardi B shouting her out the fact that Lizzo a couple months ago felt underestimated and now she have a number one. Fish. Take that, take that. Makes me emotional. It's the best feeling in the world. Glad to see that Cardi B is supporting other artists because Cardi B doesn't always support other artists. Other artists being 10-year-old boys. Let me, just, let me just play this video for a second. I, just, I need you to see this before I comment on it. They're 10. These are, I guess, actually quadruplets. There's four of them. The one more past triplets. 10-year-old um, boys. I don't know how to say it. Quadruplets? Quadruplets. Quadruplets. I didn't go to the Catholic school, private school in Nashville that teaches you how to properly learn. I went to a public school. So they dropped this diss track, and Cardi apparently not only saw it, was not happy about it. For the album. I'm not gonna let no little fucking white boys motherfucking come at me all motherfucking day long. Man, man, man shut the fuck up and stay in your motherfucking place. Go drink your motherfucking milk, bitch. I'd be too fucking nice to every motherfucking body. Suck a dick. <laughs> 
Um, there's a couple things at play. Yes, I can understand that you don't exactly love having a diss track about you, but they're 10, and they're also saying things like, you got a fake butt. So I did a little digging. We went to the Z Nation Instagram, and you can see, obviously, first of all, the studio that they're in for these videos. In front of a jet. That is a jet, right? Let's continue to dig, shall we? They have 144,000 followers on Instagram. Z Nation, Z Nation LLC. You might be asking yourself, are they really an LLC? Well, I searched it. Uh, I did a little research on them. They're in Westchester, New York. So I searched. Does Z Nation or anything along those type, uh, type of names have a registered LLC corporation in the state of New York? And there actually is a Z National Inc., but it was registered in 2011, which would have been when they were two. So I don't think that is them. I can't. All right. Thanks for watching today's Big Rewind. You can click here, as always, to see our most recent video. Click down here to subscribe. Hit like. Let us know in the comments below if there's a story that we didn't cover. And you can always check out everything that we talked about in the description below. Again, my name is Eric Zachary, and I'll see you tomorrow on the Big Rewind.